Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Um, today we're going to look at the Oxum, I don't know how you should say that brand, but Oxum uh, two bay hard disk dock with offline cloning function. They sent me this product and I thought it looked nice. So let's uh, put it through its paces. Okay. To uh, start off, it comes in this nice box. And let's uh, quickly do an unboxing. There we go. It comes with the unit itself, which uh, is a nice uh, black plastic unit. It has good rubber feet uh, on the bottom, so it stands down nicely. And it has two slots for hard drives or two and a half inch SSDs or hard disks or whatever. On the back, it has a USB 3 port and it comes with a USB uh, 3 to USB C cable. Now, the device isn't really USB C, so you can also use a USB A to, well, this is, I guess, USB 3 B. Um, and if you don't have one of, if you don't have a USB C port, I'll have a cable that works nice in the link in the description below. Uh, it comes with a DC 12 volt, 3000 milliamp adapter to power two hard disks if you put them in there, and it has an on off button. And well, looking at the top, we have some LEDs, but for both drives individually, and there's some cloning stuff. Basically, very standard stuff i guess but it's all well and nice how everything looks but how did it perform well i took two of my older drives these are western digital four terabyte uh, green w greens and i did some tests in windows and using addo i got about 150 megabytes a second for a single disk but then i did a dual disk test and basically ran addo at them in parallel and that actually didn't slow anything down. So this thing is easily able to do three to 400 megabytes a second to both ports combined, which is the maximum for USB 3, so that's good. To really stress it, I also put in, uh, well, it's still in there, uh, this 500 gigabyte, uh, oh, this is a 250. I also had a 500 uh, gigabyte SSD, and that performed fine too. Using Addo, again, we maxed out the USB 3 speeds, and I also used a uh, crystal disk mark and that showed that random performance was actually pretty good for in a USB housing. I did some more tests. I checked it on my AMD X570 chipset system, worked fine on there. I checked it on my Intel laptop, worked fine on there too. Both were running Windows 10, no driver installation needed. And then I checked it on my Ubuntu 18.04 desktop here in the garage and it immediately also popped up and worked great. It's using an ASS media controller internally, and from what I've read, that's one of the better ones to have, and even after stressing it for like an hour or stuff like that, I had no issues with it disconnecting from USB or doing anything weird like that. I also tried out the cloning function shortly. And well, uh, that works fine. Uh, I used the four terabyte disks for that. And after that, I had two identical four terabyte disks. Uh, it took about 12 to 13 hours, but that's normal with 100 megabytes a second or so. So that's, that's to be expected. And if you have to do that a lot, I think that feature is actually quite nice. So if you're looking to add some disks to your workstation, and you want to do so externally, or you have some old disks like me, you want to use for archiving or other purposes, well, um, this product works really well. It's available from their website or through Amazon, and depending on your country, it's about 25 to 35 bucks, but I'll uh, try and get you a discount code in the description. So if you're looking for something like this, maybe check it out. Not much more to say about it, really. It's in external bay, it worked well. It's it's sturdily built. I like it. And um, yeah, check it out. Performance is good. So 
If you don't have room in your chassis or just don't use the discs that often, this could be a very good option. So, as I mentioned, check out the links in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.